This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everyone. Uh, in this session of uh, Files uh, Training, we're going to do a process overview on how to uh, request a DA with the Compliance Department at Luxury and Beach Realty. Now, uh, when you first uh, get your file started, uh, you're either uh, going to be working with a buyer or a seller, okay? Uh, the way you get your file started uh, at the beginning, uh, whether you're working with a buyer, working with a buyer with a referral, a seller, seller with a referral, uh, you select that ahead of time when you uh, get your, your file started with the system and at files. Um, once you have all of your documents in, uh, it'll show up on the left-hand side. The compliance department will approve your paperwork, uh, and as you progress with your file, your you know your checklist will be completed, and then you can move on to the next phase. What I mean by the next phase is uh, once you have your checklist completed, you can change your file status to an active listing. What this does is uh, it activates the uh, listing uh, uh, sale paperwork checklist. Uh, so that way, when you do have your contract, uh, you can upload it into the second phase of your uh, file system. Okay. Now this process, uh, this process with your uh, the app file system is designed to be a user-driven process. So you drive the process, and the compliance department reviews what you're doing in the system. Okay. Now, uh, once you activate your listing, okay, uh, we're going to save this changes. Always uh, click on that save button so that uh, your information is saved. If you don't, it doesn't save it. It, um, uh, it has to be, uh, the button has to be checked or clicked on uh, so that uh, the changes are saved. Now, once you have uh, your uh, paperwork for the, uh, uh, the selling side uh, of the transaction, um, meaning your contract, your uh, escrow deposit, all of this information, all of this paperwork should be in your file within a few days of you know, getting your contract executed, uh, getting uh, all of the other documents signed. So uh, all of this process shouldn't take any more than 10 days, guys. Uh, so once you have uh, that second um, checklist uh, completed, the compliance department will obviously review the paperwork you have submitted. Now, if there's something that doesn't apply, for example, like the affiliated business disclosure, because it's not your buyer, you have already submitted it and the uh, a checklist above it, just let the compliance department know uh, with an update, okay? Create an update, uh, be as specific as possible, okay? Uh, and then um, the compliance department can remove uh, that requirement from the checklist, okay? Um, if you do not tell the compliance department uh, to remove these items that don't apply from your checklist, uh, they're not to assume that um, they don't apply, so you have to let them know, okay? Now, once you have all of the, the documents uh, that pertains to your uh, transaction, once your checklist is completed, the uh, compliance department uh, will uh, generate uh, a disbursement authorization. Now, uh, you have to move your file along as well. Uh, once you click on active listing, you have to change your listing to pending listing. Uh, what this does is it activates your closing paperwork checklist. So uh, just think of it as adding a checklist, okay? Uh, so once you change the file type, meaning the status of your file, uh, this will assign or activate the proper checklist for the next phase in your transaction, okay? Now make sure uh, as you do that, uh, some of these fields will uh, 
appear, okay, uh, and they have a, uh, to the right, it'll say required, okay? Just run down, make sure everything's spelled correctly, make sure that you have entered the proper uh, names and the proper fields, like your name as it appears on your uh, real estate license, uh, buyer's names, closing date, commission, okay? This is the actual commission you are getting paid at closing, okay? purchase price, uh, the commission amount. Now this is the net commission. So this is the number that sh it should be the same number that appears on the preliminary uh, settlement statement. Um, and uh, if you are collecting a, an MLS fee, it should automatically be added in here. Uh, and if you are paying a, an MLS fee, if you are the buyer's agent, automatically deduct it from here um, so that this amount will actually be, actually be the amount, uh, the net commission being paid to Luxury and Beach Realty at closing. This is the number that appears on the disbursement authorization form, okay? Uh, if you have, uh, if there's any concessions to the buyer or seller, just, you know, put it there. Uh, MLS number, et cetera. Just go down and make sure that everything is spelled correctly. Uh, your property address is, is complete uh, in here. Uh, if you're paying a referral, all of that information should already be in your file. Uh, and if you have... Uh, if you are paying the brokerage fee, the uh, your client's brokerage fee, just select yourself under here, uh, and that way the compliance department knows uh, how to prepare your disbursement authorization. If your client is paying, then just put it in here. If there's any unusual circumstances, for example, um, you are paying the fee or you're paying part of the fee or, or for whatever reason you need to alert the uh, compliance department of any um, additional information you can add it in the notes down here okay uh, and that should be it as far as uh, getting your or uh, preparing your file for a disbursement uh, as long as all of this information is uh, submitted, your checklists are, are completed, uh, a disbursement authorization will be uploaded by the compliance department, okay, and it will appear down here under commission disbursement under the closing paperwork checklist, okay, and um, if you have any uh, special requests, okay, uh, the compliance department reviews uh, at files uh, uh, during the week, you know, Monday through Friday during business hours, once at least once a day. Okay, uh, so if you have any special requests, please allow at least 24 hours for it to be processed. Uh, be specific as possible. So by creating an update. Okay, uh, for example, if your commission has changed from the moment you prepared your file, uh, you're giving a, a credit at closing, or for whatever reason, the commission changed from the moment your transaction uh, uh, became pending, this is where you would uh, enter that uh, information. Uh, just do an update, be specific as possible, uh, describing your request, use the actual amounts, show the calculations, okay? Um, you know, please don't assume that, uh, you know, the compliance department has all of the details. Uh, just be as specific as possible and as clear as possible and allow at least one business day for your request to be processed, okay? Um, just make sure, you know, at least a couple of days or at least, you know, 10 days before the closing that everything is correct in your file and that uh, you have confirmed the amounts, everything is correct and everything is ready uh, to be processed, okay? Um, and that is pretty much 
it. Uh, you know, uh, please, you know, stay tuned to uh, see additional videos, additional tips uh, for the app file system and the uh, uh, these training videos that we're going to be uh, doing for you guys. Uh, just stay tuned. And again, if you have any questions, concerns, at files, uh, support, uh, phone number is always up at the top. Uh, this is the number to call if you have any technical questions or technical difficulties, please call them uh, to have these uh, questions or concerns addressed.